warning of what huge pockets of you po pockets of the United States could turn into as we submit into place a permanent underclass of the unemployment I mean unemployed slash states and federal services in a desperate bid to cut massive defect defaults watch cities and states go bankrupt and struggle to adjust to a, a strike neo fundless in which the working and middle classes are d d d excitement okay in an article titled city of ruins higgins reports that 70 percent of camden's high school students drop out that the city's unemployment rate is probably 30 to 40 percent and it is a it that excuse me and that it's dangerous streets are filled with the unemployed all right and you see that uh like when uh when they had them them uproars all right and them them uh protesters that went violent over there in uh britain all right in london okay it came out that the majority of people that was rioting were uh negro latino and native americans that live over there mostly it was negroes all right but they said that they made up the large majority of, of the um underprivileged and unemployed okay all right and it's it's like that here in america it's everywhere where jake is it says what is thriving in camden is prostitution and drug trade and crime okay there are perhaps a hundred open air drug markets most ran by gangs like the Bloods, the Latin Kings, Los Nitos, and MS 13s. Higgins writes Knots of young men in black leather jackets and baggy sweatshirts sell weed and crack to clients, many of whom drive in, drive in from the suburbs. Alright, so it's all, a, it's all a setup. You got these Jakes, alright, these simple ass niggas and Latinos and Native Americans. That join these these uh these gangs which the Lord gonna destroy you you wicked ass niggas that's in there. Alright, and then who comes in who comes to where they at? A bunch of Edomites and the rest of these heathens that live in the suburbs because Jake most Jakes don't live in the suburbs, okay? Edomites, Caucasians live in the suburbs and they drive to these these look these places where Jake is to buy their drugs. And I know this because the guy that live across from us, this Ephraimite, this Puerto Rican, this motherfucker be selling uh, drugs, man. All right, you got various other spots where we live at where niggas be selling drugs. All right, and it be Edomites, little uh, you know, people that don't even belong in this area, and they come ripping through here to get some drugs, man. All right, so we know about this. It says the drug trade is one of the city's few thriving businesses Camden is awash in guns and in 2009 had the highest crime rate in the nation with 2,333 violent crimes per 1,000 pop population versus a national average of just 40 I mean 455 Wikipedia report Camden is not isolated example is no isolated example more than half of its residents 52 percent live in poverty the united states conference of catholic bishops in 2006 ranked it fourth highest among cities with under 250,000 residents as 35.6 percent of its population live in poverty it follows brownsville at 35.4 percent bloomington Indiana with 34.7%, Flint, Michigan 34.1%, Kalamazoo, Michigan 33.4%, Florence, Graham, California and Los Angeles County 33%, Gary, Indiana 32.8% and Muniz, Indiana 32.6%. The poverty rates uh, major cities show similar patterns of despair. The town or oh, the ten 
having the worst poverty rates are Detroit at 32.5%, Buffalo at 29.9%, Cincinnati at 27.8%, Cleveland at 27%, Miami 26.9%, St. Louis 26.8%, less of El Paso 26.4%, Milwaukee 26.2%, Philadelphia 25.1%, and uh, New York and 24.2%. High poverty rates, of course, stem largely from persistent structural unemployment. As the Washington Post reported last January 15th, here's the key point. Blacks, Hispanics, and men have suffered the most mainly because they have the disproportionate proportional uh, employed and and sectors hardest hit in the recession manufacturing and construction okay that's right okay point the fact that you got it right here you got blacks hispanics and men you know that's why i pulled this scripture right here jeremiah 31 and 23 it says Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as yet they shall. That's like it. I think it's 22. Yes, 22. It's like it. Jeremiah 31 22 says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. Alright? And that's why them women are doing all that demanding and complaining, because. Due to the recession and prior to the recession, right? Uh, if you was a black or Hispanic man and a man, you wouldn't get no job, man. Okay. Alright? But they'll give those jobs to women. Okay. That's why women are mostly at ease in this society because if, even if they can't get a job, they have a higher chance of getting benefits okay or government aid than a man would okay because it says the Lord will create a new thing a woman shall compass a man All right, it says for instance the unemployment rate for blacks is expected to reach 27% Michigan which has been shredded shedding audio I mean auto industry jobs other states with jobless rates above 20% for blacks are Alabama Okay, Alabama, Illinois, Ohio, and South Carolina. All right, and that's true because here in South Carolina, it's it's shit, man. It's hard as hell even to get a a, a simple a simple job, man. You know. All right, and and a lot of jobs down here now they putting these women in positions of authority, where they telling men what to do. So they up on this power trip, man. You know, which that's totally off. Okay, let me get that in the first ten piece. Okay. All right, First Timothy's chapter one. I mean, First Timothy's chapter two, verse twelve. It says, "It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach, and here's the main part, nor assert authority over the man." But to be in silence. Okay. Alright. And that's what America's all about. It's all about the uplifting of the woman. Alright. To fulfill that prophecy that we read about in Jeremiah. About a, a woman shall compass a man. Okay. And they have put him in positions of authority, which is totally contrary to the scriptures. Okay. Because they're not they're not built to be in a position of authority. Okay. It says, For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. And it's it's like that with that whole equality thing. Okay? Because it's it's no way it's it's not even even on a physical level, a woman would never be as strong as a man. A natural born woman. I ain't talking about no damn transgender. Some madness like that. Right, but it's just that's the way it was. It was made, 
okay a man was made to be superior than a woman but these women done got deceived just like Eve okay second Corinthians 11 and 3 says but I fear as by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in your shot okay that's right and the serpent the so-called white man he done be beguiled these women mainly the black woman and the latino woman the native american woman that have uh this position of power man with sub with subtility right that's why they're doing all that complaining and stuff because they lack common sense man okay it's it's a reason why men get paid more than women because men have the capability okay one physically to produce more work and to do work that's more uh strenuous than women okay all right because you know if you're a man you work with women in a, in a workplace okay one oh they always talking okay they always complaining they always demanding okay all right and they out of order man you know and most of the time they can't even do the job if it's a job uh, consistent with lifting and and moving heavy stuff okay so they've been totally totally deceived by by Esau man that's why they was complaining about equality and even went so far to try to get a bill passed in the Senate which got turned down okay this is first Peter's 3 and 7 says likewise ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge giving honor unto the woman as unto the weaker the weaker vessel okay as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered because women are naturally the weaker vessel mentally spiritually and physically okay they're not on the same level as a man okay the Lord didn't create them to be like that okay all right but when women get in that position like Eve they got deceived all right the scripture backs that up Sirach 25 24 uh, the woman came to the beginning of sin and through her we all die okay that's right because it was the woman that went off that led Adam off okay and the serpent alright beguiled Eve alright okay let me get this in uh, the order okay this is uh 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 it says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Yahushua. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, keeping the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I, sh but I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahushua, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahushua is Yahweh. That's right. A man supposed to be in a position of of leadership to the to direct okay not the woman okay so Esau's going off because I mean that's like the latest thing now they put women in all positions of authority okay all right now I'm, I'm you know but you got two-thirds that love it like that man this is Isaiah 3 and 12 it says as for my people children are their oppressors talking about Esau okay and women rule over them oh my people they which lead thee cause thee to error alright and destroy the way of thy paths that's why Israel in the state there is now that's why you got the, these children that's totally out of order these these young girls alright these, uh, these females totally out of order because 
who's running the house? Who's ruling? The woman. 